r slash ask reddit what skills can a poor 19 yo learn to help make an income and get further in life plumbing no matter what happens technology wise people will always have to take a shit plus you can always only take shower sink faucet jobs or better yet work on sprinkler systems like fire suppression the most successful plumbers I know only take jobs in new construction. Yes, this PVC will carry poop someday, but right now it's clean as a whistle. Welding. Seriously. Bro went to night school for welding. It took like two semesters. At age 19 he was making twice as much money as me, and I have a bachelor's degree and an office job. Welding is a good skill to have but before you make a career out of it, remember that it's physically taxing and can cause health issues. Learn basic framing and get a tool belt for it. I'm a welder by trade, but knowing how to frame a house has made sure I could always put food on the table, edit, and don't start ducking smoking. Don't get into opiates either. Any trade, plumber, electrician, HVAC, carpentry, etc. You will always be able to find work somewhere. These trades are in demand wherever there are people and they can't be outsourced. As a former tradesman, I will warn you. To make good money you will have to work real hard. Your body will lake and you'll shit in a porta potty most of your career. It's a great career but it's also not for everyone. 19 years old is a good time to develop good work habits. Being on time for your shift. Learning to juggle multiple responsibilities so you won't have to call out sick for unprepared for emergencies, calling out infrequently or not at all, and learning how to not be taken advantage of when other priorities conflict with work, such as school, or family obligations. I'm 30, and if I could go back to 19, I would want to get those down. You can develop a bad reputation that can be difficult to overcome, or a good reputation that can be hard to tarnish. Not necessarily a tip to make more income, more of keeping what you do have. Don't spend what you don't have, especially when you're young. It's easy to fall into the trap of credit cards. You need more money, they are heavily pushed. All your friends have them. Having a credit card is fine. It's actually necessary for a lot of things, but it requires discipline. Being poor is one thing. Being poor and in debt is a stress that I don't wish on anyone. Yeah my mum's the most anti-credit card person on the planet haha, so at least I don't have any debt worries. Get into the tech industry or an industry that has demand. Don't be put off by trade skills either. Carpenters make a shit ton of cash and there's always a demand for them. More than anything else, be professional and communicate well with others. Learn that no job is below you if you currently have none. There's probably a lot of good jobs I never considered because I was so focused on something in my major. That major is all well and good, until it's time to pay the bills and you find yourself a part-time worked at a local news station. My job now is nowhere near my major, but it pays benefits and I've got holidays and weekends off for the first time in 6 years. This, mechanical engineering major. Do B2B sales even though it's irrelevant to my schooling and make enough money to graduate without debt. Practice job interview questions. A lot. It will make you more confident at interviews in general, but will also help with almost any type job. So many job interviews follow the same format, across so many different areas. Learn how to give a structured answer of a real life example. Make sure you keep it relevant to the question. Include the task a name. How you did it and what the result was. Research the job first and tailor your examples to the industry you're applying to. How contraception works. No seriously. Having a kid right now or in the near future will leave you forever stuck in poverty. Especially if you're female. Get your CCNA it gets your foot in the door for an IT position a few more certs and some work experience and you can be at over a 100k. Try to avoid going into debt over getting an education. Don't fall into the trap of need to have your education completed by a specific age. As an example, almost no one that I know who went to college finished in 4 years. A few had to take a semester off and work full time to make ends meet. If you can live cheaply now, you can avoid a huge burden later. It was important for me to recognize that I was not in a race. Professionalism. Show up on time. Whatever job you have, do your best at it. Converse with you boss. Your primary job is to make him her look good. 
Keep your emotions out of your profession. Take criticism constructively. Learn from anyone that will teach you anything. These are skills that will serve you well no matter what job you have. If you have casinos, go be a dealer. I literally knew almost nothing. They trained me. I made a ridiculous amount of money even at a very small casino. Best decision ever. I'll share a tip that I developed a long time ago. The key is to pretend that you're always busy and the way to do that is to always look annoyed. When you look annoyed all the time, people think you're busy. Start in IT, then move into information security. It will take years but if you're focused and determined, you can be self-taught and learn on your own at your own pace. My industry is dying for people. It pays really well and a lot of the time, you can work from home. Volunteer for a political campaign. It improves your people skills, lets you network with influential people and if you get brought on as an intern could mean a small paycheck. Plus, it's fun. How to work. I'm not being facetious either. My experience has always been that a responsible 19 year old, whatever job they are doing, always sets themselves apart from the other 19 year old workers. No matter what you decide to do, decide that you are going to be the person who shows up, who works when they're supposed to and doesn't take unnecessary breaks, who puts the phone away while at work, who doesn't call in sick after a rough night out, and who actively seeks additional responsibility. At the end of the day, those are the qualities that are lacking in all age groups right now, and are the things that set leaders apart. Budgeting. So many poor people I know are bleeding money for no reason. Half the time they themselves don't know where their money goes. This might surprise some, but table games dealers make pretty good money in casinos. Just have to take a course on dealing and in a few months with solid practice you could have an audition for a job that pays 50k plus. Some properties will require you to be 21, so make inquiries if you are curious. As a country we are in serious need of people who know trades, plumbing, electricity, welding, mechanics, carpentry, etc. Once in one of those trades, the best thing you can do is be professional, accountable, and a good communicator. Don't sit and bull's tea at the supply store. Get your work done, do it well, and stand by it. If you screw up, fix it. When people say it's hard to find good help they aren't kidding. Be good help and you'll be set. Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.